Welcome. In this video, I am going to discuss about the motion of one projectile as seen from other projectile. For this, I have to consider two coordinates like this. One will represent the motion of particle 1 and other will represent for particle 2. Both the particles are thrown simultaneously from point O. Let us assume particle 1 traverses a path like this. It has a initial projection velocity u1 with projection angle theta1. So, this particle will have two velocity components u1 cos theta1 and u1 sin theta1. The another one traverses a path like this. I am completely assuming this with a projection angle u2 theta2 so the components will be u2 cos theta2 and the vertical component is u2 sin theta2 now if the both after time t reaches a certain point for particle 1, let the point is x1, y1 and the particle 2 reaches here x2, y2. Then we can apply the equations of kinematics to find their positions like this x equal to velocity into time because in horizontal direction there is no acceleration. But in vertical direction, there is a gravitational acceleration. Actually, it is acting like deacceleration. So, we will apply this equation y equal to ut minus half gt square. So, the equations will be like this. For particle 1, x1 equal to horizontal velocity u1 cos theta 1 into time and vertical displacement y1 equal to u1 sin theta 1 into t minus half g t square. Similarly, x2 will be u2 cos theta 2 into t and y2 equal to u2 sin theta 2 into t minus half g t square. From these four equations, we can find the relative displacements of one particle with respect to the other. If we find the relative displacement of particle 1 with respect to particle 2, it will be written as delta x equal to x2 minus x1. For reference, I am making you remember r2 1 vector is represented as r1 minus r2 and r1 2 vector is represented as r2 minus r1. So, here we will have u 2 cos theta 2 minus u1 cos theta 1 with t in common and delta y equal to y2 minus y1 it will give us u2 sin theta 2 minus u1 sin theta 1 into t and the half gt square terms will cancel out each other. So, from these two equations, if we find the common displacement equation, delta y by delta x will be u2 sin theta 2 minus u1 sin theta 1 divided by u2 cos theta 2 minus u1 cos theta 1 and there will be no time term. So, the whole right hand side is constant equal to m say. 
So, here we can see delta y equal to m delta x. This is the equation of straight line y equal to mx plus c. So, we can conclude that the motion of one projectile seen from the other one will be a straight line path. 